guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing what I eat in a day, low carb, high fat, keto. This is the lifestyle that I've been following for years. On this channel, I share with you different what I eat in a day vlogs so you can see and come along for the ride with me. I'm actually just starting a brand new series of it for the summer, starting now. This is my second vlog in the series. Today we are doing OMAD, which is one meal a day. I'm gonna be making a family dinner tonight. We're gonna get started on this day. So I follow a fat fast while I'm fasted, which means I consume only fat macros. And with that, I make a fat latte every single morning. I love this. I use MCT 143, which is my favorite MCT oil, along with liquid stevia. I blend that up with some hot coffee and a tablespoon of grass-fed butter. I do this every single morning and it's been getting better and better and better and better the more I drink this. And so I blend that up and I try to make it real quick that I open it up so that I don't explode my blender. And it's perfect. It's creamy. It's great. It's the best way to get started. So I'm up very early. I got some meditation in this morning after my coffee and then got the kids off to school. A little bit of work. I decided to get my workout in and so I am mixing up hibisco nat ketones. The liquid nat ketones are amazing because there's no sodium in there and it's instant ketosis. So basically it hits your brain instantly for all of the incredible benefits like the mental clarity, the focus, and the energy. All of the things that you just like to have in your lifestyle, it really gets you. So I did my workout. I'm doing high intensity training, 25 minutes. Um, and it was great. I mean, I can't tell you that I love working out because I don't, but I do it because I know it's the right thing to do. And I always feel amazing after I work out. And the funny thing is the more I work out, the more I want to work out, the less I work out, the, le the more I don't want to work out. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but all right, after the workout, I got some more work done and then it was time for lunch. And so on this day, because I'm o doing an OMAD, I'm having a second fat latte. Normally, I do one fat latte in the morning and then I would have a regular ketogenic low carb lunch at this time. But today I am fasting all throughout the day and so I'm mixing up my second fat latte exactly the same way that I made the first one to enjoy this this afternoon. It was just Mother's Day, right? And the Mother's Day weekend, Friday night I had a date night so I was like, you know what? screw it i'm gonna have the carbs and i know this is a reoccurring theme with me <laughs> lately but this is kind of what happens when you achieve your goal right you get to the point where it's like okay well you can introduce carbs more often but then after having the carbs you know what happens when you live a lifestyle where you have you eat very anti-inflammatory foods all of a sudden when you introduce those other foods back in you get the Im inflammation that you previously were enjoying life without friday that was friday date night and then it was like you know what mother's day is a sunday so why would i start eating low carb again <laughs> this happens to all of us okay so i continued working out right i've been doing my streak my, my current workout streak and i decided to just kind of like eat the carbs pretty good timing though because I've got a keto reboot that I'm gonna do next week um, with everyone so if you missed my last keto reboot fasting for 60 hours video after my Disney trip you've got to check that out I lost ridiculous nine pounds of bloat swelling body fat everything out of my system from that right like real quick right after my trip and so today so far today I've had kind of like a reboot going on today. I had so much yesterday, being Sunday, Mother's Day, I had so much as far as carbs goes that I don't really feel like eating, if that makes sense. And like, I spent the whole night just like in bed, just like feeling so bloated and like had such a hard time sleeping. Now it's about lunchtime. And instead of having a regular meal, I'm doing another fat latte, which is all fat macros okay and so with all fat macros you're basically doing a it's an assisted fast but what it is is it's mimicking fasting without the hunger and all of the other side effects that go along with, with that all right already i feel so much better already i feel like i'm back to normal i feel like the bloating the swelling all of that stuff has gone down i do plan on doing a full 60 hour reboot though on the 15th with everyone if you want information on that you can click the link below it's probably too late to get your kit in time for the 15th however 
if you've thought about doing a reboot, it's really an amazing, amazing package to kind of help you get through that. My last vlog, I was talking about how I stopped drinking alcohol and I'm over 100 days without drinking alcohol because it makes me feel so good to not drink. And it always makes me feel terrible when I drink. So it's like just knowing what to eliminate. And in the comments, you guys, so many of you have eliminated alcohol like and are so far along in that and it just inspired me so much and it motivated me so much and it, and over this weekend being mother's day by the pool newly renovated pool you know peter's drinking margaritas pina coladas all of that all day we're listening to music and it's like i had the thought like oh well maybe i could just have like one or you know today we'll, i'll just drink for today and it's no big deal because it's not like i have an alcohol problem or something but seeing you guys' comments is actually what kept me from it because i was like you know what they're right like they stayed on track like over a year two years without alcohol it's a toxin it's gonna make me feel like crap tomorrow i don't want to feel like crap tomorrow i want to feel good right Thank you for that. I really appreciate it more than you know. The comments of these videos mean a lot to me. And I just love the community and I'm so thankful to be back to YouTube. All right guys, so you remember this beautiful island that we installed? This is such a beautiful stone. I'm obsessed, it's quartzite. We left a cup on here and I didn't realize it wasn't sealed yet and it was left there overnight and the cup sweat and now I have a like a ring, a yellow ring. I read that if you put baking soda and hydrogen peroxide into like a paste, it can like lift that up, the water stain. It's, it's not like one of those white water stains, it's like literally deep, dark ring stain. Um, if you guys have any ideas on what might remove that, please let me know in comments because I'm not very confident in this actually working because we tried it yesterday and they say to leave it on for like 24 hours so other than that since the last vlog nothing has happened no additional progress everything is exactly the same i do have the screens down today though because um our bug misting system which we had installed around the perimeter the bug misting system it's an organic spray it smells like an essential oil it's so it smells actually pretty good this spray system we just hit our month and they're supposed to come and refill our tank of the spray you can kind of see the little nozzle on here it go it's on a bunch of trees it's on like our full grass here but that's how we're able to hang out by the pool and it's completely comfortable no bugs no gnats no no cms no nothing no spiders no biting insects so with my fat latte decided to get caught up on some emails the emails are overflowing <laughs> it's just like one of those things you know it's like you can never catch up to it didn't work guys help me help me so i have a mother's day muffins with mom picnic at clara's school today i'm not planning on eating any of the muffins or the lemonade or whatever else they have because I made the decision yesterday, it's like, okay, back to keto tomorrow. And it's just one of those things you know, I get asked a lot, like, how do you balance this with your kids? And like different things that happen in life and everything. But it's like, if I would have said, okay, well, I'll just have the muffins at her school today since I was off keto yesterday, then it's gonna turn into the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day, right? I gotta make the decision to get back on track and I need to continue on with that. So today I'm doing OMAD which is one meal a day. I'm just gonna have dinner tonight. And I had the two fat coffees so far today. And I had my nat ketones and I did my workout and I'm feeling so good. I actually do need to check my glucose. I have this continuous glucose monitor that I installed in my arm so that I can see around the clock what my glucose is doing. Guys, I'm back to normal 83. Um, that's great. I. I was off. So, I mean, fasting does work. If you get back on track with keto, fasting is the fastest way to do that. Um, but also these products that I use, like the Nat Ketones, they help. The fat coffees, they help. They help you um, like a tool because it keeps you, keeps your blood glucose steady, but it keeps you so you don't have like those crashes where you're then craving food and you want to like eat something or you're ravenous or something like that, that it doesn't, it doesn't happen when you utilize this system that I utilize and that's why I'm so obsessed with it. Right, here's what my blood glucose is doing right now. It's really good. Look at this. 
Okay, do you see that pink line? That's 110. I've stayed well below that. I get, guys, I had a gigantic bowl of pasta last night, like huge. Um, just to show you the spike of what that pasta dish did to me last night, 120, okay? And then it dropped right down and that's typically when people like start having cravings and they start, cause it's, it's when it goes high and then it goes really low. That's what you don't want to happen. So that's why cutting out the carbs is helpful. And then um, overnight I had a little bit of a roller coaster. Um, you can see that here. So there's my spike of my pasta and then you can see the roller coaster kind of, of ups and downs. And then this morning on, you know, I've, I've started flat flattening that the spikes right so it's just, it's not spiky so that's what I want so perfect and I cannot wait to do the keto reboot with everyone I almost did it this weekend but then because of all the carbs I was eating but then I was like no I'm gonna wait and do it with everyone because I think it'd be fun to do it with everyone so OMAD today since I'm my glucose is looking good and I'm feeling good and I'm back on track and I'm gonna put on my Abraham Hicks Law of Attraction YouTube channel that I told you guys in the last one that I listened to while I drive. Absolutely, just completely obsessed with it. <laughs> well, I'd never be here. I feel kind of like the gentleman over there. I don't... And lately, that's the way it's been for me. I ask a question, I have the answer. Yeah. Life is full of your answers, and the others that you're roaming around with are full of them too, aren't they? Yeah. It's... So I'm at Clara's school a little bit early, and I wanted to mention I did some meditation this morning. Um, while Peter was taking Clara to school, he took the kids to the bus stop, he took Clara to school, he's amazing. Um, and so I meditated outside on the back patio, like just listening to the water from my fountain, from my pool, and also like the trees, like the palm trees, the wind blowing through the palm trees. I had the absolute best meditation I think I've ever had in my life. And it's one of those practices that you just have to do regularly, so if you're like, what the heck who meditates that's so weird whatever whatever um i was like that too until and also for a lot of people it's really hard to just like calm your brain but when you do it and you keep doing it and you keep doing it and you just try to focus on like 15 minutes a day just sitting calming your brain what happens is you allow that energy connection that you can get where you can now get impulses to do different things throughout your day that's going to lead you to the things that you want sounds nuts I know we talk about this whole thing about law of attraction but I'm telling you guys law of attraction is a thing and so many people just totally ignore it and just don't take advantage of it um, but anyway I had this incredibly amazing meditation I'm back to like connecting I can feel it I can feel the difference I feel the difference in my energy I am I'm there like <laughs> I love it I love that feeling you can have a picnic? Oh, you so excited? Yeah! I love it here! <laughs> so cute. Probably one of the best parts of being an entrepreneur and owning my time is being able to be present for moments like this. Randomly in the middle of the day, spending time with Clara at her school. It was so much fun. She loved me being there. Oh, This way. Come on. This way. Yeah, we're this way. Was that fun? Yeah. with this casserole it's so easy to make very few ingredients first step is I'm steaming up some string beans you can also steam those or make them fresh if you want I just do the easy way I take the easy route and then I'm sauteing some grilled chicken I will put the measurements and everything in the description of this video so you don't have to worry about trying to write them down or figuring that out as you're watching this but basically I'm sauteing the chicken with some bacon and then i'm chopping up that chicken and this we are making a jalapeno popper casserole and so i'm slicing up some fresh jalapenos which is optional to add to this because i made two versions tonight 
I'm doing one without the jalapenos and one with the jalapenos. And so then I'm chopping up the bacon after it's cooked a little bit and then sauteing it until it's crispy with the chicken. And then adding on top of this some heavy whipping cream and some cream cheese until I get like a nice Alfredo-like type of sauce going. And then I add my cooked stream beans to this after they're steamed and I just kind of mix it all together and get this all cooked up really nice and then I add these to my pan to bake everything together and so I'm doing the two different versions one with the jalapenos one without because obviously my kids would not like the spicy casserole my husband and I we love it spicy so we are definitely into the whole jalapeno popper thing especially if I can make like a keto style dish that kind of makes you feel like you're getting those jalapeno poppers so i topped this with some cheddar cheese you can really choose whatever kind of cheese that you prefer i'm doing cheddar just because i like it <laughs> i guess and so i added to the top of this some panko pork rinds which are my favorite for adding to casseroles or for even breading chicken and stuff it's so good first one out of the oven was the version I made for the kids and if you don't like spicy foods this is exactly how you can make this and I wanted this to cool a little bit by the time it was time to eat and so I had that out first and then this one was ready just a few minutes later I baked this at 375 degrees and it came out really crispy it's so good guys it's so good you can also add some garlic powder to this or any type of seasonings or spicy spices that you prefer um i did add some additional garlic powder to the top once this was done but it would be good to add that within the mixture as you're cooking it as well how's it taste claire what is this it's a casserole How is it? Broccoli is it? No. And green stuff. Anything that's green except lettuce. But that has no flavor. It has no flavor. Yeah. So then how can you not like it if it has no flavor? Well, that's cool. Green beans at school? No, we ate those today. I'm not trying to say I like food. So you like green beans when they're in the casserole like this? I like the green beans by itself. The rest of the afternoon we spent hanging out by the pool, which we pretty much do every day after the kids are done with their homework and they had dinner and they're just, you know, it's part of this lifestyle that we built and created from nothing into whatever we wanted. We literally wanted a like a life we didn't need a vacation from and that's exactly what we made here. And so feeling completely blessed to be able to spend this time with my kids and to have this time freedom. So Peter was installing a security system around the property. He put up cameras all over the place. So that's that front yard driveway. We usually get to bed pretty early, like around 8.30 or 9 at the latest, and I just drink water the rest of the night. Typically take magnesium and vitamin D and K2 before bed. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and be sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to see more of these vlogs, let me know in the comments. Take care.